everyone, I'm Sarah of Bridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the country Christmas ornament, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is an easy to work ornament and uh, it's placed over a small three inch embroidery hoop uh, from which you can just tie a string and it adds a nice personal kind of crafty touch to your Christmas tree uh, or, or gift, uh, whatever you would like to use it for. So uh, today for the pattern, you're going to need a little bit of a lightweight yarn. I'm going to be using this True Boo yarn uh, by Lion Brand yarn. It's a lightweight rayon bamboo yarn. And uh, you're only going to need about 40 to 50 yards, which will include enough to make your tassel uh, for this project. So you don't need a lot of yarn. Uh, if you would like to add some beads to your finished ornament, you're also going to need some of those. I recommend choosing some with a larger hole at the bottom. Uh, you're going to need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors, as well as a four millimeter crochet hook and a three inch embroidery hoop, which you can find at your local craft store. A copy of the free written pattern can be found on richtexturescrochet.com and I'll put a direct link for that pattern in the description of this video as well as some other links there to help you find some of the materials that you'll be using. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to take a look around. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly. If you enjoy the video, I invite you to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the ornament uh, and if you get a chance to make one. Now I neglected to mention at the beginning, but you're also going to need a stitch marker for this pattern as it is worked in continuous rounds. So you're going to want to have that handy. What we're going to do is start by making a slip knot. And then by making a foundation chain of four. Now this pattern is worked in rounds. So once you have chained four, you're going to reach back and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're now ready to begin round one. You're going to chain one and then into the center of this ring work eight half double crochet stitches. There's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now at the end of this round, you are not going to join your work. We're going to work in continuous rounds, so we're not going to join Instead, as you work, you're going to mark your first stitch with your stitch marker. So moving on then to round two, we're going to work in the third loop. Now to find the third loop of your stitch, I'm just going to pull out my hook here so I can show you. This is the front of your half double crochet. If you look at the back of your half double crochet, you'll have this horizontal bar that goes across just under your top back loop. This is your third loop. In that first stitch it kind of hides a little bit. You might have to just kind of pull it up. But that is your third loop. So we're working under that third loop only. And you're going to work two half double crochet stitches into each all the way around. So inserting your hook under that third loop only work one half double crochet and then mark it with your stitch marker if I can find mark that first stitch and then another half double crochet under that third loop into the next stitch work two half double crochet stitches again into that third loop you're going to continue that all the way around. 
you will have 16 half double crochet stitches at the end of this round. When you look at the front of your work, you will see that by working in the third loop, it's actually pushing the top of your stitch forward, which is giving you that fun texture. Once you come around to that first stitch of round two, again, you do not uh, join with a slip stitch. Instead, you're just going to remove your stitch marker. For round three, we're going to continue working in the third loop. You'll half double crochet into that first stitch. Replace your stitch marker. And then work two half double crochet stitches into the next stitch. Again, working in that back loop only. Next, half double crochet into the next stitch. And then work two half double crochets into the next stitch. Working in the third loop only, you're going to continue that all the way around until you come back uh, to your first stitch. So continue to repeat one half double crochet in the next stitch and two in the next. At the end of this round, you should have 24 half double crochet stitches. For round uh, four, you're going to work one half double crochet into the third loop of the next two stitches. Don't forget to mark that first stitch. And then you're going to work two half double crochets in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around one half double crochet working in the third loop only of each of the next two stitches. And then two half double crochets working in the third loop only in the next stitch. Repeat it all the way around uh, until you come back to your stitch marker at the end of this round, you will have a total of 32 half double crochet stitches. For round five, you will half double crochet, working in the third loop of each of the next three stitches. Remember to replace your stitch marker. And then work two half double crochet stitches in the third loop in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one half double crochet working in the third loop of each of the next three stitches. And then continuing to work in the third loop, work two half double crochets into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around till you come back to your stitch marker. At the end of this round, you should have 40 half double crochet stitches. For round six, working in the third loop, work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then two half double crochet stitches into the next stitch, still working in the third loop. Repeat that all the way around one half double crochet in the third loop of each of the next four stitches. And then two half double crochets in the third loop of the next stitch. Repeat it all the way around until you come back to your stitch marker at the end of this round you will have 48 half double crochet stitches for round seven you're going to continue working in your third loop half double crochet 
into each of the next five stitches. And then work two half double crochets into the third loop of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around to your stitch marker. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 56 half double crochet stitches. For round eight, you've probably guessed it by now, but working in that third loop, we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then two half double crochet stitches in the third loop of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 64 half double crochet stitches. Now at the end of round eight, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and you should have a piece that looks like this one. It's now time to put your ornament into your embroidery hoop. I had to extend mine all the way open. If you need to work more or less rounds, you can, but you're just going to place it on your hook, on your loop like so, and, uh, and then just push the top over, and then tighten the top of your hoop. if you can. <laughs> there we go. Then you can either just attach your string up at the top and leave it as such, or if you'd like you can do what I did and I added a tassel uh, along with some beads. So what I did for, to make my tassel was I cut eight lengths of yarn. These are about 12 inches long to make a longer tassel. And you're going to thread them through the bottom of your ornament. So just find the center bottom of your ornament and begin to thread them through. You're going to want to pull them so that their ends are even and about halfway along. I put mine fairly close together. should have two more here. So I've cut eight for my tassel. Make sure all your ends are fairly even. And that it's folded about halfway down. Like so. Next, I added my beads. So you're going to just simply take the strands of yarn and thread them through the beads of your choice. And 
and go ahead and thread them all through. Now once you have all of your strands of yarn threaded through, you can pull it tight. Now on this one, uh, I find that the beads are quite tight around the thread so that there's no uh, knot or anything needed. But if you need to, you can either add a knot or simply take another piece of yarn and wrap it around your outside uh, to complete the tassel and to keep the beads from coming off. Finally, trim your ends, make sure that they're all even, attach your hanger, and your Christmas ornament is complete. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the country Christmas ornament. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.